Today I'm just going to show you quickly how to remove the carburetor from a 1995 Yamaha Big Bear 350. First you want to get your seat off. Then you need to remove the four screws that hold the fuel tank cover. There's one here, one there, and one here, one there. Four all together. Then take the fuel cap off. Your cover is going to come off. Next, you'll need to remove the two fuel tank bolts at the back here. And there's a bolt here at the front left. And there's one at the front here as well that you have to remove. You can access these by either going through here or going under the fender here. Now you'll need to remove the fuel line from the tank. Now the whole fuel tank is going to come off. In the carburetor, if your intake boot needs replacing, you would remove the two Allen bolts over here. Now you'll need to remove this black cover from the carburetor, and it's just little Phillips screws holding that together. So now this black cover is going to come off. Next, we're going to detach the throttle cable. So bring the lever up and bring the cable through the gap here and just pull it out like that and grab this little adapter here just so that you don't lose it and you have to remove this nut over here as well now you need to remove this hose from this connector here and I'm going to remove the car by pulling out the intake boot for the air filter first unscrew the Phillips screw here pull it out so to pull on the intake boot Add the back from the air filter off, then pull the car back to get the studs out of the intake manifold. Once you've got the carburetor out like this, take off the Phillips screw that holds the throttle bracket on the carburetor. Now just pull the throttle cable out like this, it's going to slide right out. And now you've got your carburetor out and you can do whatever you want to.